Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Hermitcraft server. Back on Hermitcraft Season 6, my friends, for the 30th episode, and this is quite possibly the final episode of 2018. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's going into 2019, of course. But yeah, guys, today... I'm going to give you guys a bit of an insight as to my future plans with my modern future island city settlement of awesomeness. But before we do that, of course, we have the Shulker Box Shop to check out. I've already gone ahead and checked out uh, the brand new end loot shop. Sadly, there's no sales here, but this one, yeah, it does. It does. It's got some sales. I almost feel like every single episode, there is at least some sort of sale at the Shulker Box Shop, which is absolutely fantastic. Right, let's go and uh, fill up uh, this chest here, so it kind of looks like I've got more stock than I actually do. There we go. All right. And I would be interested in knowing if I have enough diamond blocks to make this thing. Ah, see, if I had four more diamond blocks. Wait, is it four more diamond blocks? No, no. I've got enough. I've got enough. I've got enough. 81. 9 times 9 is 81. 64 plus 17 is 81. I have enough diamond blocks to make my tier 4 diamond beacon without having mined any diamond ore whatsoever in the season, ladies and gentlemen. Well, do you know what? That's going to be the first thing we do today. We're making our tier 4 diamond beacon. It's already at tier 3. It just needed the fourth tier so we could get ourselves a second stage uh, effect thing. So, yeah. Oh, dude, this is sick. This is sick. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, guys. So, check it out. That's tier one. That's tier two. And there's tier three down there. So, all we need to do is uh, dig down one more layer underneath. And then we can make ourselves... Oh, a tier 4 beacon. <laughs> this is actually sick. I can't believe it. I feel like this is like perfect timing. Like the end of the year and we've got one of our more major goals actually complete. And actually when I come to think of it, I don't know if there's any other beacons that I need to make into tier 4. Hang on, let's have a look. So we've got resistance 2 and regen. Okay, so there is another beacon which we don't have tier 4 for. So uh, I need to check out which one that is because one of my season-long goals was to go ahead and make all of these into tier 4 beacons because, I don't know, I just thought that would be a cool idea more than anything. Hello there, Bedrock. Right, I just need to be able to get underneath here and uh, just dig all this out, I guess. So, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, guys. So we are almost done with this thing. So there we go. Another side right there. Four, three, two, one, zero. Bang on, guys. Absolutely bang on. <laughs> oh, I'm very, very happy, guys. I'm very happy indeed. All right. So uh, I should be able to convert this into any kind of... Okay, so speed two. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to need ourselves an ingot of some description. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got some in here. Yep, there we go. Just one ingot is all we need to activate speed two. Uh, so let's get that thing done. And get upgraded. Yeah! There we go. Okay, right. I need to figure out what the final uh, upgrade is that I need to do. Is it the gold one or did I do the gold one? Uh, no, the gold one is done. Okay, so the gold one is finito. So we don't need to worry about that one. In fact, we might as well cover that up, to be honest. There we go. So that's just to say that that one's done. Uh, the emerald one. Hmm, I've got a feeling this might be the one. Yeah, this is only tier two here. Okay, we have got a fair way to go. I mean, to be honest, I could probably do that today. I wasn't intending on, uh, you know, doing that, but I probably could. So is this one tier 4? That was tier 3. And yep, tier 4. Okay, fantastic. All right. So we're making some serious headway, ladies and gentlemen, which is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I guess we could always head up to iTrade and see how many emeralds we could get from there, right? The bad news is we are entirely out of diamonds. Oh, wait. No, we're not. We've got a little bit here. Oh, okay. So yeah, I am actually out of diamonds. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it there, guys. A tier 4 diamond beacon. I don't even think I've ever managed to get that on any of my single-player worlds before. So, actually, this is probably the first ever time in general I have ever managed to get a tier 4 diamond beacon. So, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. 
I'm pretty freaking happy with that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about it. Hang on a... Um, hang on a minute, folks. <laughs> yep, I am not out of diamonds by any stretch of the imagination. I completely forgot we went on a massive end sprawling, end freaking city raiding session. And as a result, I have actually quite a lot of stuff. So, right, there's uh, there's an emerald right there. Uh, so how many do we actually have? So we have still over a stack of diamonds, which is absolutely fantastic. Don't mind if I do. Uh, so yeah. All right. Well, uh, maybe this uh, emerald gaining session might not be too difficult after all, huh? All right, well, let's give it a go. Uh, if my calculations are correct, it's going to be, what, 7 times 7, which is 49. Uh, 49 plus 81 is, what, 130. So, we need two stacks and six. Wait, two stacks and six? Wait, no, hang on. Two stacks and two. Two stacks and two emerald blocks. 130. Blimey! This is probably going to take a while. Wait, no, hang on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is 130. Sorry, my maths is, like, way off today, apparently. Good job, Python. All right, well, uh, hopefully he's got a whole bunch of stock in, because if he doesn't, then we could be in trouble. Uh, but, you know, he's hoping. Right. Hey! He's got a whole bunch of emeralds for sale. Eight emeralds for one diamond. I mean, I don't see a reason why not. I don't see a reason why not. Alrighty, guys. Don't mind if I do. So that'll be 13 diamonds going to Impulse for buying all of these emeralds. But I did notice that this one has 12 in it. I mean, if there's going to be 12 for a diamond, then I'm going to be all right with that. But there you go. So you got all of that going on. That's only going to be a, not even a scratch on the surface of what we really need. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh. There's a, there's a chest up there with my name on it. I am interested. Oh, gosh. I am interested in seeing what's going on here. Uh, absolutely nothing. Okay, so... Oh, I think you put your belongings in there so you can just, like, have more space in your inventory for trading. That makes sense. That actually does make sense. That's pretty cool. All right, so... Question. Is there any... I mean, yeah, the farmers are going to be good, but, you know, people who trade paper, that's also a good way of getting a whole bunch of emeralds, right? So it'll be nice if we could find ourselves the cheapest paper trade here, which I believe is going to be 24. Uh, do we have a 24 paper trade? Yeah, this one's got a 24 paper trade. Awesome. All right, guys, I... I'm going to do Trade Mania. Yes, I am. It's going to be a fantastic time. <laughs> ah, brilliant stuff. Um, Impulse, you appear to have run out of stock there, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's rather a lot of trading I just did. We're now at 48 levels. We've got nearly eight stacks of emeralds here. We've got 41 diamonds remaining to spend. And I'm pretty sure... Somewhere around, there was a pumpkin and melon shop or something like that. Because I feel like that'd be by far the best way of getting emeralds. Because as you can see, uh, this is the best pumpkin trade you can get. Uh, melon, this is probably the worst one, actually. I'm pretty sure you can get eight melon trades as well. But the pumpkins... Oh! We need to go find some of those bad boys. But in the meantime, I want to check just how many emerald blocks I can make. 55! So we can make our thing into a tier 3 emerald beacon if we so wanted. But you know what? That ain't good enough for me. That ain't good enough for me. I want to go full hog. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. You know what I'm saying? If it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. So that's exactly what I'm going to go and roll with. So yeah, guys, check it out. Check out all the materials we managed to get in the meantime. Yes, I had to do compass and clock trades to re-unlock the freaking paper trades. Oh, what a bunch of jerks these villagers are. Villagers, it's such a lottery. It's like gambling, isn't it? It's not very good. You shouldn't get into it. Oh, dear. But anyways, I need to go see... Oh, pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Oh, right, Mumbo, Mumbo's pumpkin store. Conveniently near iTrade. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, one diamond for six stacks. Oh, Mumbo. Oh, Mumbo, you have got yourself a proper cash cow here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's another diamond there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's another one there. And that's all I can have for now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mumbo, you are an absolute genius. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look how quickly we can trade pumpkins and get emeralds now, guys. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, and he's still trading them. Fantastic. They, oh, my gosh. This is so worth it. So worth it, my friends. Already got 23 emeralds. 
We need ourselves quite a lot more, though. A lot, lot more. A grand total of 130 blocks. Come on, man. We can do this. Hey, Mumbo! Your shop's run out, man! <laughs> um, yeah. I've been trading for just over an hour now. You can see I've now got 67 levels, which is probably the highest amount I've ever had outside of killing the Ender Dragon, which is just insane when I think about it. And the Man of Mode Truth, do we have enough to make ourselves a Tier 4 Emerald Beacon? Ah, uh, no. Damn it, man. So, yeah, we've got 128. We actually need two, two Emerald Blocks. Two we only need two, and then we can get ourselves up to tier four if my calculations are correct. Oh my gosh. I am not getting... Oh. Whoa. Hey, doggy. Hey. Stay there, buddy. Right. Come on, man. Come on. I must have enough emeralds around. I should have some to scrounge together, man. Come on. We need two. I need two. Well, guys, the good news is I had some emeralds left at my uh, at my modern uh, settlement base thing there. So I need literally one emerald, guys. And then I think we are just about there. So there we go. We've got some rotten flesh here. So I'm hoping there'll be like a cleric or two inside of eye trade. Because if not, then I'm going to be a little bit sad. So yeah. All right. Uh, eye trade season pass. Whoop. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. We're looking for a cleric. Please let there be one. I just need one. Just a cleric. A cleric. What? Oh, there's one there. Oh, thank goodness. I was just going to say, how can you not have a cleric? That's like absolute sacrilege right there, my friend. That is sacrilege. We can't have that. Anyway, so let's get down here. And yeah, so that is 128. That's 130. So guys... Here's hoping we've got enough. Here's hoping my calculations work correct. Right, because if not, then I'm going to be so sad. Please, dear base gods, let my calculations be correct. Five, four, three, two, one, and yeah! We've done it, guys! One of our season-long goals is officially complete. We now have four tier four beacons, one of each resource type. So we can now convert this into haste two. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, so let's have a look now. What have we got? Speed 2, Resistance 2, Haste 2, Regeneration, and Strength. Oh, man. You have no idea how long I've been trading today, my friends. It is absolutely stupid. So I think it's only right that the next thing we do is go ahead and enchant. We have 68 levels. I just bought a bunch of books for my trade. I have well and truly been playing into the man today, haven't I? Oh, jeez, dude. So many spending sprees and uh, I hate villagers. I hate villagers. I hate villagers. I hate villagers. I hate myself for going for the villagers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I need to go to Villagers Anonymous or something like that. Like, this is just unacceptable how much I've done today. <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, that was disappointing. So I got all of these books down here. These aren't that great, I'll be honest. And Well, that's the I trade pass. But these are the fairly decent ones. We actually got three unbreaking books in a row, which is fantastic. Depth Strider and Protection 4. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and put them in the good books section. Yeah, got a lot of good books. And then these are like low tier. So I'm probably going to make a different chest for them. Uh, I mean, I might just put a chest above here. I mean, we should be able to, right? Because it's glass. I'm pretty sure you can open chests on glass. Something like that. Oh, hello there, sirs. Good day to you all. Get wrecked, you bunch of bots. Hey, is that going to be... Is that going to allow me to give myself another book? Hmm... I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close, guys. Come on. Come on. Give me that 30. I want that 30. Oh, come on, man. You're like tantalizingly close at this point. There you go. All right. Nice one. All righty, guys. So after all of those escapades with beacons and such, check out the supply of diamonds I have now. This is literally all I have. I mean, yeah, I've got the ores and technically I could go ahead and smelt them. Or just hire someone to mine them and maybe give them commission or not. I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. That sounds like a terrible idea. But guys, check it out. 20 diamonds. That is all I have on my person now. <laughs> you want to guess how many emeralds I've got left? A big fat zero. I've got zero emeralds left, guys. I've used literally every single one on the beacon. And yeah, it was worth it to get that season-long goal done. 
it was worth it. Now, guys, since the last cut, I've been a very, very busy bee because at the beginning of today's episode, I said I was going to showcase to you guys my plans for 2019 and this massive base area. And this is the area I have been working on. This is like the central area of my modern district island based thingy me do here. You can see my sort of modern coastal settlement over there. And what we're going to do for the last bit of this episode is we're going to try and plan out the city center for this area. Now, as you can see, we've got ourselves a bunch of smooth stone and stone slabs so we can actually make a bit of a start on this thing. And since the last cut, I've done quite a bit of terraforming in that, uh, as you can see, this place is now completely flat. I've gone ahead and covered up all of the cave systems that were around this place. And basically, guys, we've got ourselves a whopping great area to work with and I think probably step one is we need to mow down all of the grass and all of the flowers so I've got a better idea of the kind of space I have to work with. Well I say mow the grass what I actually mean is flood the grass! <laughs> oh this is super quick isn't it? Yeah! Whoa! So there we go, my friends. That is what I would call a pretty healthy amount of space to work with. Now, what I'd really like to do is try to figure out roughly where the center of this area is. So I'm going to go ahead and put down some blocks here, and I'm basically just going to fly around until I feel like I've found the center of this place. Uh, so if we have a look at it from here... Uh, that's looking pretty good. I'm thinking maybe uh, a few blocks sort of diagonally back, like maybe here. Uh, I mean, the reason why I'm trying to find the center is because I want to have like a massive fa uh, fountain centerpiece for the city center surrounded by skyscrapers. Skyscrapers! Yes, that's what I want to do, my friends. So, it's really, really important that I try to find as center a possible uh, that I can. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Well, you guys, you guys get what I mean. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to try my best to try and find the center of this place. And then, yeah, after that, we'll try and uh, put down some blocks and see where the builds are going to go. All right, folks, so here we go. I feel like I've calculated a pretty good center with the addition of a little bit of terraforming. So, basically, from this center point, we can go 20 blocks in all diagonal directions uh, with these markers here. So, that's five blocks, ten blocks. 15 blocks, 20 blocks, because I don't want these skyscrapers to be tiny. No, we're going large scale, my friends. I'm going that kind of scale over there. That is right, my friends. That's the kind of scale I want to go for. This is going to be a massive building project. It literally is. It's going to be absolutely massive, and it's only going to be the centerpiece of the city. Like, we've still got a load of other areas to fill in, right? So, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun one, guys. It is gonna be a super fun one. I'm looking forward to it. I genuinely am looking forward to this. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is start plotting out the builds. I'm gonna do this off camera, so I will meet you guys in a mo. Alright, guys. So, I have been a busy bee trying to plot out where all of the skyscrapers, skyscrapers, whatever you want to call them. I think skyscraper is a much more appropriate term, huh? It seems to have been coined, so, I mean, why not? <laughs> Oh dear, but guys, are you ready? In three, two, one, let's have a look. So guys, check this out. This is what we've got going on. We're going to have six skyscrapers surrounding this thing. Now, as you can see, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of pathways. Uh, we've got all of the plots here. This is going to be one skyscraper. Uh, there's going to be one skyscraper in each of the four corners. We're going to have two at the sides, and then we've got ourselves some pathways here to do the other ones. Now, I did have an interesting idea as to how I could do something above the pathway here. Like, I think we could have another skyscraper, but have the underneath part still be a pathway. So basically, a skyscraper on stilts, if you will. I think that'd be a really, really cool idea, because then we'd still have a fountain surrounded entirely by skyscrapers, and then we can walk underneath the hotel, which is going to be here, and then we can walk out into the other areas of the Pythonadas settlement. We don't even have a name for our settlement yet, my friends. It's going to be a modern settlement because it's in the modern district, but it's going to be with my colours because, you know, I'm red. We've got some red lampposts and red glass, for example, so I don't know. Maybe you guys head down to the comments area and let me know your thoughts on a potential name for our permanent season-long base, I guess. But anyways, guys, let's check it out from up here. Oh my goodness me. I mean, it looks like a whole bunch of blocks, but once you start putting those squares together, 
Then, uh, yeah, we're going to have ourselves a pretty banging area. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go and put in the square so I get a better idea. Alrighty, guys. And as we circle Izuma's massive cactus skyscraper, we can circle back and have a look at the buildings. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh. Now, imagine if all of that was built up into skyscrapers... And it's surrounding a nice little fountain, sort of municipal central area. Holy guacamole. Ooh, we have got a long, long road ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. But honestly, if we just keep chipping away at it bit by bit, I think this place could look absolutely sensational. It could potentially be my biggest and best building project I have ever done in Minecraft to date. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's got potential. I think it's got a lot of potential. But ladies and gentlemen, on that note, this is the project we're going to be working on in 2019. So I hope you guys are excited. Ladies and gentlemen, got to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and you're excited for New Year's and this new project, please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support in 2018. It I can't put into words how appreciative and grateful I am of you guys for all of your support this year. Started this channel off this year at 17,000 subscribers. We've now got well over 135,000 subscribers. You guys have been absolutely incredible. You guys have been phenomenal with your support. So guys, thank you so much. It means the world to me. It genuinely does. But guys, have a fantastic New Year's and I will see you guys in 2019. See you guys later.